Stuart St. Clair, dear Vampiro, let me first say that was a hell of a match you had against Pentagon Jr. Thank you. My question to you is why didn't you go to ECW? Well, uh, I had the plane tickets and we had the match booked. And uh, I, I, I still ke I kept the phone bill because uh, I, when I do meet him one day, Paul E., um, I'm going to fucking show him. And I, I bug him about it all the time. I think I called him 156 times. And uh, he never returned my call. Wow. And uh, it was supposed to be on a pay-per-view, uh, me against Raven. And uh, just, I never heard from him again. Wow. All right, here's a video from Glenn. Glenn has sent us this. What the My name is Glenn. How come you never worked for Vince McMahon? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God. Do people see this? Do you put this in? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. He had a penis in his neck. That was a vibrator. Come on. Um, Vince, you know McMahon? Um, well, I, I mentioned it last night. I, what's his name? Uh, Blanchard? The guy who was there? Tully, not Tully. The other guy? One of them. No. Um, Briscoe? No, the fucking... What, Pritchard. Pritchard. Yeah, I've never met him. Uh, but I remember I, I had an accident in WCW, and I was, I was in the hospital and kind of stuff when, when the whole transition went through. And I phoned WWE, and... Um, Pritchard said that they didn't, they couldn't use me, and the creative couldn't think of anything to do with my character, and uh, they let me go. Nonetheless, Philip Anderson says, "Hi, Vamp. How do you feel by being in the top ten superstars never to compete in WWE by WWE.com?" They did a poll, I guess, and you appeared in the top ten. Well, voted by the fans. It's strange. My, my, I'm, I'm begging my lawyer to do it, and he's taking his time. Um, it's fucking weird that on every TV show that they have on their classics or whatever, it's always Vampiro versus somebody. Or on every goddamn video game they have for the last 14 years, I'm the most played hidden character. I didn't know about all that. They're You're getting paid clearly, aren't you? I ain't you? getting shit. You're kidding. So we are mounting a big lawsuit about that because you owe me some money, motherfucker. Tony Prospect. F, marry, kill. You got to F one, you got to marry one, you got to kill one. Ivelisse, sexy star, Katrina. I fuck a bomb and then shoot myself. No, you gotta, you gotta F one, you gotta marry one, you gotta kill one. You can go process of elimination. Who gets to marry? That's always the easiest marry, one. Marry, F, and kill. Marry Katrina, F, Ivelisse, kill sexy star. Right. Yeah. I forced him sexy. It's not his fault. Salvatore M, you are bilingual, but frankly speaking, you don't look like someone who speaks Spanish. Well, fuck you. So with that preface, tell us about the time that you caught someone talking shit about you in Spanish right in front of you and about how you catch them off guard when you reply in Spanish. I know it has had to happen because it happens to every bilingual person. It happens to me a lot, especially when I'm on the train and old Italian women start saying cafone around me. It's like they never dated me, but they already know. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. I mean, uh, it's happened, there's, there's a lot of time, but just, like in Mexico sometimes, you know, like, there was all these interviews, and I like, I didn't fucking say that, and then you, you know, these these reporters saying shit, and they, they would, they were kind of making sense, and I was like, man, y you would answer them in Spanish, and in slang, and you'd fucking hit them hard, and be like, you, you, you know, you, you fucking, ra then the Mexicans are racist, and it's not an insult, but they are, and I'd be like, you racist, dumb fucking motherfucker, you just don't get it, so yeah, I would school people like that. And it's also in English. You know, when I came to WCW, they were like, well, he's one of the Mexicans, and he just doesn't get it. And I'd be sitting there listening. And this is in the office of WCW. Huh. And uh, it was like, he's not going to fit in, and we don't know how to work. And I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? I said, I'm, I'm from Canada, man. I grew up in Montreal. I mean, you know, well, we thought you were from Mexico. I said, Vampiro can Canadiense, Canadian. Canadian, because Can I'm Canadian. You know? Oh, we, we thought you were Mexican. I said, yeah, you, you fucking... Talk about racists. But when you, when you first started working in Mexico and people, maybe guys in the locker room or promoters didn't think you spoke the language, did, were they ever saying shit? Probably, but I, I didn't know enough Spanish back then uh, okay. to catch them. Salvatore M., let's get to the important questions for God's sakes here. What does a young non-Spanish-speaking -speak, speaking American wrestler do in order to get mugged in the streets, ostracized by the other wrestlers in the locker room, and get his bag shit in on a nightly basis? Basically, what are the do's and don'ts for a gringo on his first tour of Mexico? The do's and don'ts. 
Well, first of all, what the f I got to read that. Mugged? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, that ain't going to happen. Who the fuck told you that? Um, Mexico is dangerous. Mm -hmm. You don't got to be a wrestler. You know, just uh, don't go out at night. You don't know the language. You don't know the territory. You're probably going for a smaller independent promotion. You're staying in a, a shaky part of town. Uh, just don't go out at night, mm -hmm. man. That's one thing. Um, and no one's going to shit in your bag and beat you up. That doesn't happen, man. What about being ostracized by the locker like, What would make you uh, an enemy of the locker room in that culture? Don't offer. Ask. Listen. Listen and, and, and agree. Um, don't say, I want to do this. Say, mm -hmm. can you do this to me? Or, do you do that? I'd be happy to, to do this. Because then they will say, what do you want to do? Don't mm -hmm. go in there and dominate. Be humble. Okay. And if, if you are a non-Spanish speaking wrestler who goes down there for a tour, will they, will they talk to you in English? Will they give you... There's a lot, there's English? enough guys down there that, break, that speak broken English. Right. Okay. Yeah. And if they're bringing you there to work, they're not bringing you to fuck around, you know? The best thing to do is, uh, is, is, is get a girlfriend. You'll learn Spanish pretty quick. Mm. Ron Dixon, being a big fan of Lucha, I've always wanted to go see a live show in Mexico. However, I've always been afraid to make the trip because I've heard there are arenas in some pretty bad neighborhoods down there. Could you give me some survival tips on what to do, what not to do in bad parts of town? Also, what places should I just not even bother going to? Well, just don't go to bad parts of town. I mean, if you want to go to a big show in Mexico, uh -huh. in Mexico City, the arena in Mexico is, is safe. Okay. Or in Mexico City. If there is a major triple A show, like a, you know, their summer events or their triple mania show, um, I would go to the triple mania show because that's in Mexico City at a at a very Americanized arena, and it's in a very uh, it's in a part of town where really nothing happens. Um, make sure you have your your transportation. That's very important. It's squared away. Because don't think you're going to walk outside and find a taxi. That won't happen. Mm. But if you want to go out to all these little spot shows, that's probably where you're going to get yourself in trouble. Okay, so don't go to the spot no, shows. No, that's easy. No. Stuart St. Clair, dear Vampiro, let me first say that was a hell of a match you had against Pentagon Jr. Thank you. My question to you is why didn't you go to ECW? Well, uh, I had the plane tickets and we had the match booked. And uh, I, I, I still ke I kept the phone bill because uh, I, when I do meet him one day, Paul E., um, I'm going to fucking show him. And I, I bug him about it all the time. I think I called him 156 times, and uh, he never returned my call. Wow. And uh, it was supposed to be on a pay-per-view, uh, me against Raven, and uh, just I never heard from him again. Wow. All right, here's a video from Glenn. Glenn has sent us this. Hi, Dan Piero. What's My the... name is Glenn. How come you never worked for Vince McMahon? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God. Do people see this? Do you put this in? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. He had a penis in his neck. That's a vibrator. Come on. Um, Vince, no McMahon? Um... Well, I, I mentioned it last night. I, what's his name? Blanchard? The guy who was there? Tully, not Tully. The other guy? One of them. Got, no. Um, Briscoe? No, the fucking... What, Pritchard. Pritchard. Yeah, I've never met him. Uh, but I remember I, I had an accident in WCW, and I was, I was in the hospital and kind of stuff when, when the whole transition went through. And I phoned WWE, and... Um, Pritchard said that they didn't, they couldn't use me, and the creative couldn't think of anything to do with my character, and uh, they let me go. Nonetheless, Philip Anderson says, "Hi, Vamp. How do you feel by being in the top ten superstars never to compete in WWE by WWE.com?" They did a poll, I guess, and you appeared in the top ten. Well, voted by the fans. It's strange. My, my, I'm, I'm begging my lawyer to do it, and he's taking his time. Um, it's fucking weird that on every TV show that they have on their classics or whatever, it's always Vampiro versus somebody. Or on every goddamn video game they have for the last 14 years, I'm the most played hidden character. I didn't know about all that. They're You're getting paid clearly, aren't I you? I ain't getting shit. You're kidding. So we are mounting a big lawsuit about that because you owe me some money, motherfucker. Tony Prospect, 
F, marry, kill. You got to F one, you got to marry one, you got to kill one. Ivelisse, sexy star, Katrina. I fuck a bomb and then shoot myself. No, you got you to gotta F one, you got to marry one, you got to kill one. You can go process of elimination.